Welcome back, my duelies. So the teaser trailer for Dune Prophecy just dropped, and you guys already know we are huge Dune fans, so I'm super excited to watch this trailer. Yeah, this is the show about the Bane Desert. So I'm actually really interested to see where they go with this, because I think it could give us clues with what they're going to do with Dune Messiah. So be sure to comment along and let us know what you guys think, and let's get into it. Yeah. 10,000 years before the birth of Paul Atreides, before the universe would know us as the Bene Gesserit. We founded a sisterhood. Assigned to the great houses to help them sift truth from lies. We created a network of influence throughout the Imperium. But power comes with a price. A sister on the throne. Nothing is more important. And this is the marriage that makes it possible. This is us playing God. And we will be judged for it. I am Okay, guys, so I'm having mixed feelings because obviously I knew they were going to have the same budget that Denny Villeneuve had, so it doesn't have like the same quality as the Dune films does, but it still looks good, but it's just different. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad. Um, I'm interested to see where they're going with this because it seems like the tone is like the Bene Gesserit with their scheming. Yes. Um, but this seems like a more direct attempt to put like a Bene Gesserit member on the throne, which was never part of the books. It was always about wielding influence. And my thought was this was going to introduce us to the Bene Gesserit as the kind of pseudo antagonist or as the sort of antagonist for Doom Messiah. Mm -hmm. And now I'm not really sure where they're going with this. I do hope that when we're seeing them fighting, that's not them just being warriors. I hope that we're going to get to see the Bene Gesserit like use the weirding way, something that wasn't in the Dune movies, but it's a big part of the book. It's like very important. What exactly is the weirding way? It's like the Bene Gesserit's form of fighting. And so it's like this kind of dance that they do. It's just like a very different fluid movement based fighting style. That might have been a glimpse of what we were seeing, but I hope that's not how they're going to represent it with just like tumble kicks and like John Wick style fighting. Like. And I always got the idea of it being kind of like Tai Chi or uh, Wang Chun, like moving with the tacks and stuff. At the risk of sounding suspicious, it felt a little bit like they were trying to take the coolest aspects out of the Bane Desert, which is like the mysticism, the kind of conniving, scheming nature, and make it more like they're just a bunch of like fighters and badasses. And that's just like not the coolest thing. Like the coolest thing is, yeah, they can do that stuff, but it's their long term strategic plan. The main thing that will turn me off is if they really do try and make this some like a girl boss thing and completely ignore all of the deeper intrinsic stuff that makes the Bene Gesserit. Yeah, because don't get me wrong, the Bene Gesserit are girl bosses in like the least pejorative way. Like they are like rightfully girl bosses. They boss around the universe. They wield like an iron grip through subtle influence. But yeah, I don't want but them being rulers. reduced down to uh, just another fighting class. I don't want to yeah. see the fighting of the Dune movies just transposed onto them when there's so much cooler stuff that is in their history and lore. And their leaders behind the scenes. Their influence yeah. is felt, not seen. Like Yeah, and that's the true strategy of it is to convince these houses that the Bene Gesserit, and the houses know the Bene Gesserit are conniving and influencing them, yeah. but their value is so great, they still hold like great esteem for them while also being very suspicious of them. I want to see that dynamic unfold. What I'm expecting to see them like building out the missionary productiva and that we're going to see the creation of the Lisa Nagai prophecy. Yeah. This seems more like it's going to be about them trying to take the throne. And have a war emperor. Yeah. And I'm like, that's just not something that I think is the coolest story to tell. I definitely was hoping to see more of the scheme. And also, I didn't think that was part of a story to tell. Like, having an actual... Bene Gesserit on the throne, I didn't think was a thing. They were trying to create 
someone mm -hmm. that they could manipulate to be on the throne. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they're uh, taking that. It's definitely not from the Dune books. Um, it just seems weird. The obvious criticism this is going to get, and again, it's just because it's a teaser trailer, there's not enough to see yet, is it does potentially have some of the beats of like the Rings of Power taking a character like Gladriel who has this like huge mysticism and supernatural power and just consolidating it into something that's very easy to show on screen like fighting which always felt like a cop out yes because it is way harder to show oh the Bene desert like using the weirding way controlling people with the you know the with voice. the voice yeah. and all that kind of stuff subtly wielding influence over thousands of years that's way harder to show than oh well she's really good with sword I personally think this is just too short of a trailer to make any real decisions on whether or not it's going to be good or not. I just can't wait for another trailer that's going to show me way more. When it comes to Dune, I'm a sucker. So even if it's the worst thing ever, I'm going to end up watching it. I'm not very objective when it comes to Dune. It is like my favorite book series of all time. But you guys, these are just our thoughts. Let us know what you think in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.